likes of families men should never marry a woman from. Men, come closer. Marrying into a bad family is worse than marrying a bad partner. A man can get destroyed after getting married to a woman from a particular family. Stay tuned and let's talk, okay? Let's have a discussion. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel once again. If this is your first time watching my face or watching my video, please you are the right place. My name is Esla. All we do on this channel is to advise each other. Please make sure you support your girl. If you know of something, make sure you leave it in the comment section. Without much ado, let's get right into the video. As a young guy or as a young man coming up, you want to marry, you need to ask your father or you need to ask an elderly man, what family or what are the family I must not marry into? Or how do I know that this family is a good family for me to get married to a woman from that family? Or this family is not good for me to enter? Yes, some men got married to women in some particular family and their lives are not the same anymore. They are shadow of themselves. That's because our parents, before they will marry you, they will do background check. Not those one we are doing these days, I'm in love with the person, I love him so much, I love her so much, so I want to marry the person without doing any background check. We can meet a lady in the pub or maybe in the restaurant, we are getting married the next week. My brother, the first type of a family you should never marry from is a family with a poverty mentality. One of the biggest mistakes you can make as a man, as a young man, is getting married into a family with a poverty mentality. All they think about is their daughter getting married to a rich man. Then that rich man will liberate them, will bring them from their poverty. If you are a young man and you are married to that kind of a family, they will start projecting all the responsibility on you. They will put their hope on you. You are their last stop. You are the only person that will leave them from the poverty. You will start taking care of their siblings. You will start taking care of your in-laws. If your father-in-law is sick, you'll be the one to sponsor. If your sister-in-law is sick, you'll be the one to sponsor. The siblings in school, you are the one going to pay for the school fees. That's the poverty mentality. They want a man to leave them from the poverty. So their mind is, any man that will come for my daughter must be rich. And when that rich man is in, that man is going to suffer. You will not move forward. You will keep coming down because the responsibility on your head is too much. That's a family with a poverty mentality. They are not ready to work hard for themselves. Immediately they are giving birth to a lady. Their mind is a man will come and marry this lady and will start sponsoring all their expenses. Their rent, you will be the one to pay it. Small time, they will come into your house. In-law. My rice is finished. In law, we need this. We need this. My brother, you can never move forward if you marry into a family with poverty mentality. They are going to use you as ATM machine. Their hope is on you. It will be difficult for you to do things for yourself. You can't take care of yourself because immediately your salary is in, they have planned their budget. Yes. So if you want to marry, Never marry from a man who is going to depend on you. The whole family is going to depend on you. They are having poverty mentality. They are not ready to work for themselves. They don't understand that when you come and marry from their family, it's not your responsibility to take care of them all. You can do your part, but not everything. Another family is bitter family. Nobody wants good from that family. They are all on each other's matter. Yes, immediately someone wants to move forward, they are bitter. Their heart does not accept good things into that family. No matter what you do, no matter rich you are, no matter perfect you are, no matter nice you are, you will never satisfy them. You will think you are doing your best, but this family is not seeing it. They are not appreciating your efforts. They don't value your efforts. They are bitter. Everybody is feeling some pain. They don't want the other person to move ahead of them. So in the family, no one tells anyone anything. You may think that you are doing something for them, but because of the bitterness in their heart, they will never value that. Getting married into a bitter family is like risking your life. 
It's not like your mother-in-law or your father-in-law are going to hurt you. But the extended family, those people, especially when you are rich and you are married from that family, and there's a woman or there's a man there whose daughter is not married to a rich man, then you will be the top of everything. They will destroy your life. They will destroy you. You can't move forward. They are not united. There's no unity in that family. Another family you shouldn't get married into is a family with generational curses. There are some families that have generational curses. So as a man, immediately you marry from such a family, you automatically inherit those curses. It's a simple logic. It's like a property. When your father dies right now, you will inherit your father's property. So whatever your father is having, you are going to inherit everything, both the curse and the good. If your father was cursed before, you are going to inherit it. Those are the generational curses. It might not concern the woman, but it is in the family. Every family has their own problem. But there are some families with a big curse that nothing good comes from that family. And they are not doing anything about it. So if you marry into such a family, you are going to inherit that curse immediately, automatically. It's like you are also inheriting the property some. Some families have committed some sins and there was a curse placed on them. And if they didn't come out from that curse and you are entering that family, my brother, you are going to suffer the same curse. Okay? You will marry some women and you will keep moving forward. The same way you can marry a woman and you keep dropping. You wouldn't know what is the reason. You wouldn't know where the problem is coming from. It is because there must be something wrong somewhere. Another family is tribalistic family. Those that believe in tribe. You are not from my tribe. So you can't get married to my daughter. And if you are married into such a family, they will never treat you right. Because you are not from their tribe. If they say you are not from their tribe, so you can't marry their daughter, my brother, run. If the parents are insisting, run. Because if you insist and you get married into such a family, there will be a different treatment for you. Let's say you are two men and you are married into the same family. One person is their tribe. But one per you, you are not from their tribe. The way they will treat the one from their tribe is different from the way they will treat you. If you go and marry into such a family, families that believe in that a lot, when something happens, you'll be treated differently. And if you are not the type of person that you want divorce, you will suffer in that marriage. Okay? You will suffer in that marriage. Another family is religious family. Those that believe that you must attend their church before you get married to their daughter. If they start that, my brother, run. If it is not something that they can consider, they just want you to marry their daughter. Before you marry their daughter, you must come to their church and you are not ready for it, my brother. Run for your life. They will disturb your life. You will never have your peace. Okay? Because no matter what you do, no matter sweet you are, no matter good you are, you will never satisfy them. You will never do things that they will appreciate it. They will never value you. If you do not meet their standard, there are a lot of things as a man you must consider when you want to marry into a family. Those days, our parents, they do the background check. You may tell me around how do I know this person is like this? That's because you just met the person two days later, you fell in love with the person and you want to marry the person. Yes, there are some cases that if the person did not go back or whoever they have wronged, did not go and beg the person. Or the lady herself is carrying some curse. You wouldn't know. The lady has to go within herself, ask questions before things can start moving on. And maybe by the time you start realizing this, my brother, everything that you have worked for, it is gone. So the only thing I will say here is before you marry your partner, make sure you do a thorough background check. Go behind the person, ask questions. If you can't do it, let your father do it or let someone do it for you. We are getting married to people that we don't know and we are coming down slowly. Some may commit a lot of sins and people might curse the person. Two days later, the person says, I'm born again. Without going to ask for forgiveness from those people. And the 
born again the person to is is not a correct born again then you will see that person on the roadside you marry the person then your life will start destroying then you may be blaming your grandmother your grandfather who is old in the house so please there are a lot of questions we need to ask there are a lot of background check we need to ask when we want to get married into a particular family okay so please if you know of any family that a man or a woman must not get married into please leave it in the comment section we are all here to learn we are here to help each other no one knows all please make sure you leave your point of view in the comment section okay so that someone will learn from it i hope you have learned something from this video and please don't forget to subscribe like and comment make sure you support your girl okay so i'll see you in my next video stay blessed Love you.